Hello, and we've got a bit of a war review today. It's not the usual war review because all the members the last few days have not been in King Jeffrey. Because as many people will know, many will not know, we've been doing a civil war. So we split the clan into two. We created two new clans and we tried to match each other. The first time was not a success. We didn't get the match. Um, we had very, very even teams, but the match didn't work. I don't know what we did wrong. So we ended up with a random war. But the second time we tried again, we thought we'll have one more go. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll go back to King Jeffrey and we'll try again some other time. But we got the match up. So the second war was the war we wanted. And for this one, like I say, we created two teams. And if we have a look at the war here, you will see Cunning Stunts, glad I said that right, against three star Wuxikas. Myself and Wux were running the clan Cunning Stunts, and Ray and Matt were running the Wuxikas clan. And as you can see, the victory went to us 51 50. So there was only one star in it in the end. Uh, we can have a look at the stats and let's have a look at the teams first. So this was our team. As you see, everybody's gone now. They've all gone back to King Jeffrey. Um, yeah, we had Broom and R up there, Rhino, Big One, myself and Wux, Credo, Doss in the middle order. And down at the bottom of the tens, Nico, Stinson and Wesley. And then in Town All Nines, May, Eod, Daniel, Beast. And the lower Town All Nines, Lad, Seb, Joel, Smack. And Warpigs, Smack and Warpigs we borrowed from Badger's Boot Camp. Uh, Warpigs are Town All 8, Smack a very new Town All 9. So we brought those in to make up 20 because we only had 36 overall. So the enemy clan, or the opponent team, the, the second half of King Jeffrey. Uh, we had Easy Rockin', Sabe, Ked, Matt, Algarvio, Ben Blue, Easy Sniper, Guillermo in the middle order, and then Conrad and Connor at the bottom there. Then the Town All Nines, we had Muxy, Ray and Butter, all maxed Town All Nines. Then we've got J-Dub and George with Heroes in the 20s. And then the lower ones, Josh, Glorp, uh, Flesh Eater and Mikey. Again, Flesh Eater, a fairly new Town All Nine, and Mikey was a Town All Eight. Both of those, again, from Badger's Boot Camp, our feeder clan. So that made up the two teams. Let's have a look how the stats ended up. So we won in the end by one point, one star, total destruction 86.3 compared to 83.2, which that went up a lot at the end because we had a lot of cleanup attacks. So that meant we could clean up some of the bases we didn't get high percentage on. So we added a few. I think we added, uh, what did we get? Broom got a 90% late on. I added... 20% to a couple of bases I think something like that <clears throat> so that that gave us the higher percentage in the end but it was very close 11 three stars 9 two stars for us uh, 10 three stars 10 two stars for the other team um, we three starred two town or tens they three starred one but we're very close to three star in two town or tens now to make this more interesting you will see some pretty iffy bases because to make it more fun, we asked everyone to design and build their own base from scratch. And it did, you know, it came up with some pretty strange and I think, to be honest, most of us don't have a clue about base building. And we didn't, our bases weren't great, but that's part of the fun of these things. You know, you don't want to be attacking some random internet base you want to be attacking the base of your opponent so that's that's what we did for this one uh, we all made our own bases so shall we watch some raids um i could try and show a few raids from both teams uh so who shall we show first so we show ked on broom so we got broom here we got ked attacking him this base, it's not totally handmade by Broom, but it was a base, his old base that he used to use a long time ago in Wars and before the extra Wars and made some modifications then, so he's made a few more modifications. 
So it's a heavily modified base that he used to use in war uh, that didn't do very well in war and it didn't do very well in this war. So, um, yeah. But Ked with a good attack going in from the bottom there. And he gets quite a high percentage. That queen just keeps going and going. Look at the king, he's hardly any health, but he's still going down there. He's got a pecker there as well. So there's no defences down there, and they're just taking out all that bottom area. The queen used the ability there to get some, some nice percentage from that end. Those golems in front of those, the pecker and king. So that was a good raid by Ked. They got seven. Did they get seventy percent here? Fifty-nine percent at the moment. Yeah. It's a good raid. It, very good clean up. It looked for a minute at the beginning like it wasn't. He wasn't actually going to get fifty percent. But then everything sort of spread out right, and he got yeah, seventy percent or close to seventy percent. Sixty-six percent and sixty-eight percent. Did he get any more? No, sixty-eight percent. So that was a good raid. There were a lot of high percentage raids in this war. So that was Cad's raid on Broom. So let's go to the other team, and we'll watch Rhino's raid on Easy Rocking. So we've seen their raid on our number one. Funnily enough, their number three on our number one, and now we're going to watch our number three take out their number one. Now when I looked through the bases I actually thought their bases looked slightly better than ours um, and this one this one looked really good actually and we did Broom failed on it the first time but I think that was because he took an extra jump that he didn't need. Um, Peter here he does drop a uh, bleh, sorry no, not a rage spell a poison spell at the beginning by accident but it doesn't matter, he's got two of them, so maybe he knew he was going to do that, I don't know. He had two. But this was a good raid, I mean he gets, he gets the town hall and up to 50% fairly easily, and then he's got those golems over there taking the hits, and golems over the other side, so the golems are split really, really well. He's got a clean-up wizard there and a minion going behind the golems, and his queen is just strolling through the middle, and... There's not really that many defences reaching the Queen. In fact, there's none. I mean, it didn't look a bad base, this. It looked a pretty good base. I certainly didn't want to attack this one. I thought I was going to have to, but... Uh, Peter did really well. 70%. Or a little bit more. No, 70% on their number one. So... We shall watch. Let's have a look. Shall we watch the three-star on save? Or... Oh. Or who got, or Ron, who got two three stars in this war for us. And this was his attempt on Sabe. Uh, Sabe's self-designed base, not the best. But again, a lot of the bases, you know, it's not easy to design your own base. You have to, I mean, this is obviously a base that's designed to try and send troops around the outside and basically make it hard to actually get to the town hall but R solves that problem by taking out everything around the outside and then there's nowhere else for them to go apart from the town hall and this was a mass pecker raid with a few wizards it's pretty uh, fun to watch I'm sure it was fun to do as well But yeah, I mean, we're, we're, not, um, we're not base builders. We're good attackers, but we're not very good at designing bases. And like I say, a lot of these bases got some high percentage. As you can see, our both average destructions were well over 80%. So, so that was ours second three-star, that one. Let's go back and let's watch Matt with an attack on R. So this is Matt. And he's attacking R here. R as well. Had a pretty nice looking base. I think um, Easy Rocking's base was the, the best looking base of the enemy. 
and I think this one was probably our best looking base but Matt wrecked it pretty easily so it's hard to know how bases work to be honest because I think the bases that actually looked the best probably worked the worst the ones that didn't look anything special or looked pretty easy were probably the ones that defended best I mean my base I just tried to get town all in middle tried to make it so that the um, clan castle was unlawable and that was about it really and it actually defended twice and when it did get two starred it was I think 52 percent so I don't know it's hard to know what what makes a good base good it's it's hard to design bases it really is so 70 percent from Matt on oh this one was late on actually when they got this one this put them in front with uh, on percentage destruction but not long after that uh, what shall we watch? Shall we watch Rhino? We've already seen Rhino. Let's watch big one on Ked. Our number four on Ked. And this is going to be an air raid. Big one, fairly unlucky on Algarvio. A uh, few, an hour or so before this. Actually needed one more hit on the town hall to get the two stars. And he didn't get it. And we, th we when we were watching this raid, we actually thought it was going to happen again. Because as you see, all the balloons are dead, and then in go the minions. The rage spells disappeared, and yeah, minions getting picked off, but they did make it. They did take down the town hall, and that gave him plenty of percentage down bottom to to go for. If you're watching this, Ked, if you're going to design a base with the town hall really near the edge, don't have both your air sweepers and two of your air defense right at the bottom of the base and don't put your air defense right next to your infernos or you're going to get done for 70 percent that was a good attack by a big one what should we watch next we'll go back over and who we'll attack rhino algarvio with rhino algarvio on big one let's watch algarvio on Hmm. On Rhino. So here's Rhino's self made base. Again, I think there are faults. And this just gets absolutely wrecked by Algarvio. Again, air sweepers. Not sure what Peter's plan with the air sweepers were there. Because if he's going to get attacked by air. He's not going to get tacked from the way those sweepers are pointing. But it probably wasn't intentional. It was a good raid by Alg though. He spotted it. Spotted the weakness to air. So he attacked it and he got 71%. A lot of 70% raids in this war. So that was a good raid by Algarvio. So back over we go. So where were we? We'd watched the raid on Ked. Let's watch Broom's attack on Algarvio because Broom got 90% here. So it goes with the giant to get the law. Takes the clan castle over to the side and kills it. Let's just speed that up a little bit. A very good raid this was. So he laws the hound over there. And he's going to kill that. And I'll slow it down a little bit. He did take quite a long time on the law here, Broom, and then he he dropped the poison and he sort of waited quite a long time before he started the raid. I don't think he would have got three stars anyway. Um, but I've not watched it since live, actually. So I'll watch it again here and see if he would have got three if he'd been a bit quicker on the law. So he was a bit slow on that, but... Apart from that, he absolutely destroys this base. Again, another base that actually looking at it looked pretty decent. 
but then it gets absolutely smashed to pieces. It was a nice attack. So let's see. Woody have got three stars with more times. Got those wizards going round to the east side. I think the golem's going to go down pretty soon. Well then let's see if the wizards... Where are the wizards going? Oh, of course they can't. So... I don't know. No, I don't think he would have got through. I think that archer tower would have taken out... Yeah, the archer tower would have taken out the queen and the rest of the wizards. So he wouldn't have got three anyway. Uh, but it was a great raid. Wuxia on Ben. Credo on Blue. Who else shall we say? I'm going to save that. Well, let's have a look at the other team again. So there's Blue's attack on me, 52%. Ben on Wux. Let's switch that one because that was a good attack. Another base. Looked pretty good. But because when you're making the base yourself, um, bombs and things do cover holes so it's hard to see if there's a hole in some places and there was a hole in this base in fact looking at it now there might have been two but like i say it's hard to it is hard to see where the holes are when you're designing a base from scratch and then you put bombs and traps in and sometimes the giant bomb or the teslas cover the hole and you can't really see it so well, this was a nice raid he goes, killed the hound, so now he's going in at the corner at the bottom, clearing that area. He's going to clear all that northwest side as well. He's clearing a lot of stuff there. And then he saves all his other troops. And then basically there's nowhere else for them to go other than, other than to the core. He's got a free spell there. It was really nice. One of the best attacks in the war, I think, this one. Well, certainly one of their best attacks. I think this one and... Who else? The Sage 3 Star was a good one. Yeah, they had some very good attacks. Easy Sniper did some. Two really, really nice attacks, actually. It was as expected, really. Every You know, we... We're, we've got good attackers, so put them against each other in an even matchup, and it's going to be a very, very close war. And it was. And there we go, Ben with another 70% raid on Wux. Uh, shall we see the. Uh, okay, let's watch the two star on me. So I think out of all the bases, I think this one probably held up the best. I think mine, on our side, mine, and on their side, I think Ben's. Uh, held up better than than most. I think I defended twice before this one. I was pretty happy, pretty happy with how it how it went. Uh, when I actually designed this base, I designed the base. Speed it up a bit. I designed this base to defend. Go wipe coming from the northwest. So I've put all the traps and all the bombs and the single inferno that side. Clan castle behind town hall with the multi inferno. So I actually assumed if anybody came from northwest, that would be the best chance out of defending. And in the end, actually, that was what got me. I defended Lava Lunium. I defended a go wipe from southwest, I think. And then, yep, yeah, I got done for 52% in the end. But I quite like that base. I thought that base did really well. Considering I knocked it up in about half an hour, it wasn't wasn't bad. I might use it in war. I don't know. We'll see. Well, that was a nice attack from Blue. Clean up Pekka. Did a good job. Okay, so back over to them. Let's watch this raid on Easy Sniper. So here we've got a three star. From R. And this was a really, really nice attack. So he takes out Inferno and Clan Castle. So that leaves him with a jump spell. And with this base being fairly open, with the one jump spell, he can actually take out most of this base. 
So there's no clan castle. It's only got one inferno left. Um, basically against max troops and max heroes. That's going to be pretty hard for him to defend. He only just got it though. He only just got the three star. But it was a nice attack. I mean, he had this earmarked right from the start. As soon as he saw this base, he said he was going to three star it. Um, he kept his word. He did it. He got the three. King very low on health there. Queen still got to be. That crossbow actually looked like it was going to be a problem. It looked like that crossbow was going to be was going to save him, but it turned out that the queen could actually reach the crossbow from where that golem is now. We'll see her go up there in a minute, or eventually. So this extra 30 seconds that we now get actually made a huge difference. And there, from there, she can reach that crossbow. I didn't think she could. And we're going for the three star now. Great job. Yeah, um, 30 seconds, extra 30 seconds actually makes a big difference. Allows you to lure more. It allows the Town Hall 9s to do more precise strategies without having to rush. Uh, let's watch Guillermo. Guillermo, who failed on me. Let's watch my revenge. We'd already two-starred this base when I did this. I was just doing this for percentage at the end. Because we had a lot of attacks left at the end. That we could just go for uh, percentage with. I thought our guys did really, really well all through the war. We really didn't fail many attacks at all. I think we'd taken out all the Town Hall 10s and only failed two attacks, I think. So we did 11 bases with 13 attacks. Might have only really failed one, actually. I'm not sure. Well, this is my effort on Guillermo. I did forget to drop my hound at the beginning. It worked out okay. Guillermo opting for an anti three star base, which surprised me. So there we go, 70 something percent. 74? Yeah, 74 percent. So it's pretty happy with that one. What else we got? Me on Conrad, Connor, Dossier. Well, Dossier got a nice attack. We'll watch that one. We'll watch that last Town Hall 10 attack for us. This video is going to be a bit of a long one, but. I don't mind that because there's two teams where both both teams are from the same clan. So I want to show attacks from both teams. It's not very often we do. Well, this is the first time we've ever done this. So it would be nice to see some attacks. Dossier here on Connor's anti-3. Obviously, Connor is the lowest uh, defense-wise. Uh, defense he has the lowest base. Uh, he actually ranks above Wesley in war because of traps and walls but yeah he got he's got the lowest defenses so he made an anti three star base bit like Stinson in our clan he had the lowest defenses in ours so he had a kind of anti three as well so this is a good raid by DOS got a nice percentage most of these bases we got over 70 percent on there was a couple of bases on each side that were in the 50-60% but the majority of them the town all tens we did get 70% or more well, that's a nice raid by DOS so let's go over to the other clan and watch a few of the ones left what do we got we got Connor on Credo well let's watch Easy's attack on DOS here because this was a nice one Easy's ba uh, Dossier's base I think had defended twice before this But neither of the attacks before that bothered to lure the clan castle. Easy lured the clan castle, and once the clan castle was lured, that was it. 
it 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 really went down easily after that. But it did work well this base, it worked pretty nicely. Sape tried to three star it at the end and couldn't. It was very close, but it got like seventy something percent I think. But this was a nice attack. I think, I don't know who attacked it before, or was it Blue who attacked it before? Attacked it the same way as this, but didn't lure the Hound. And he got percentage, but didn't get Town Hall. Or was it Ben? I'm not sure now. But it worked pretty well. I have to admit, it didn't look a very good base. I wasn't, at the start, when I looked at the bases, this wasn't one that looked scary. But then again, neither was mine. I didn't think mine was going to do much, but this one of Dossiers and mine both defended twice. That made a big difference, I think, at the beginning of the war, because right at the beginning of the war, I'll just watch the end of this. So there's the 79% great raid. Um, let's watch Sabes 3 star on Nico while I talk about what happened at the beginning. This is a nice raid by Save, splits everything up, and we'll let you watch it. Um, yeah, I think at the, bit, at the start of the war, we had a really, really strong start. We three-starred Town Hall 9s very, very quickly. We didn't need to use any Town Hall 10s on them. Um, our Town Hall 10s at the start did not fail much at all. I think we managed to get, out of our first five raids, I think we'd got three two-stars on town or tens but then after that we i think we got eight in a row eight two stars in a row uh and then and then two three stars so we did very very well we had a very strong start we didn't lose many attacks and that really gave us the options at the end to sort of pick and choose what we wanted to do and where we wanted to get a bit more percentage um whoops because they didn't have that uh, what's the word? They didn't have the chance to to do that. They they didn't have that many attacks left. Uh, they failed a few town hall nine raids at the beginning, a few town hall tens at the beginning as well. So it sort of it put us in an advantageous position at the sort of from middle middle point onwards. We had we could be a bit more experimental I think because we had more attacks to cover if people failed I think they had to be a bit more careful so but both teams did really really well and it, it was really great fun we will do it again I don't know when we'll do it again but we will where's easy on Stinson oh, let's watch Guillermo on Stinson and then this will be last town or 10 raid and I'll show a few town or nines I'm gonna go over half an hour actually with this video but it's okay people can fast forward if they want we don't have to watch all of it but I'm sure people will because it was great fun it was a fun war it's always fun uh, you know attacking your friends and people who are in your clan and fun again to rewatch it and, and stuff like that. So Guillermo takes out Town Hall, gets 50% before he's even dropped heroes. And then he's going to drop the heroes over there. Personally, I think I would have dropped them at the top, but he might have got a bit more percentage if he had. I don't know. Maybe not. No, I probably wouldn't. It's a good raid. So let's watch some town on nines now. Ugh. On May. Let's no Matt did May. That's a town or ten. We're not gonna watch town or tens attacking town or nines. You won't have to watch that for hours because we three starred them all with town or nines. They had to use a couple of hang on, did they use three? Yeah, I think they had to do three clean up attacks with town or tens on the town or nines but here's one by jdub this is not a clean up attack 
This was a very nice attack on Eod. Again, Town or Nines as well designed their own bases. I think they did. I'm not very good at noticing which Town or Nines are war bases and which aren't. So. But I'm pretty sure if most, if not all, the Town or Nines did make their own bases. Town or Nine war bases, anti three bases do all look very similar. They all follow the same rules, so. Yeah, they're going to. And there was a nice raid. J dub. Three stars. So that was Eod three starred. So let's go over to our side. And let's watch May three starring Muxy. So Muxy. Base designed by Ray. And May's going to go laloon him. Did May three star Ray as well? I'm not sure. No, I think Arabian Beast three starred Ray. We'll watch that one as well. Well, there were some nice Rays from Town or Nines. Some nice three stars. The ba these bases actually didn't look bad. I don't know. I don't know much about. Well, I do know a bit about Town or Nine base. I'll lie when I say I don't know much about Town or Nine bases. Don't know much about Town or Nine attacks. I do, but I don't know as much. I don't know anywhere near as much as the Town or Nines know about Town or Nine bases. <clears throat> but to me, I thought the Town or Nine bases that they designed themselves. I thought they looked pretty good. But I guess just that extra little tweak here and there on the bases we use in war um, probably makes them harder than these bases. I don't know, but they they look they look pretty good. The town or nine bases certainly look better than the town or ten bases. <clears throat> but of course, the town or tens we were trying to guard against two stars rather than three, and it's it's pretty impossible to guard against two stars with a good attack on a town or 10 so ray we're gonna watch oh may no i thought beast did ray oh he did actually but may cleaned up at the end um who we're gonna watch let's see on daniel let's watch ray on beast revenge beast got three on ray ray got three on beast i don't know who revenged who i think beast attacked ray first and then ray attacked him later but Ray he used his Town Hall 8 well he used his Town Hall 8 to scout Beast to try and find his double giant bombs he didn't find his double giant bombs because he didn't have any double giant bombs which I thought was a bit weird but I don't know Anti three star bases with no double giant bombs seems a bit odd to me, but if it works, it works. This one didn't work because he got three starred first time by Raymond. So he's going to send the hogs in there. All those single giant bombs are going to do absolutely nothing. So I just heal the hogs. A lot of spring traps are actually working pretty well. And that last bomb nearly gets him. He actually, actually very clear. It's a good job he had the extra time because he wouldn't have got it otherwise. I don't think anyway. I, you know, you'll have to have a look what uh, time said at the beginning. But I'm pretty sure this went over the three minutes. It was a good raid. But it was close, it was pretty close, considering there was no double giant bombs. And then a single bomb there takes out the hogs, the rest of them. In fact, yeah, this did go over, I remember watching it now, because he only had like three seconds at the end or something like that. It was very close. So, there we go. Ray with a queen walk. 
Oh, what have we got? Muxi Conrad, that's town or ten. Blue, another town or ten. Come on, guys. Flesh Eater on Smack. We'll watch this one because Flesh Eater was the low town or nine that we brought in from Badger's Boot Camp because we didn't have enough to make 20v20. So we brought him in and another guy, and he got three star here on Smack. Smack wasn't able to three star him. He did try. I can't remember now who. I think Daniel took Flesh Eater out in the end. Well, this was a nice attack. He's a good attacker. Um, he's only got low level base, low level heroes though. So, or I'm pretty sure we would uh, we would have him in King Jeffrey if he could, if he had like level twenty heroes, because he's definitely a good attacker. Does some good attacks in badges. And this was a good one. Three stars. And there we go. I think there was plenty of time on that one as well. So there we go. We're not going to watch the three on war pigs. Now let's have a look here. Who we got? Butter. Eod. Watch Eod's three star on Butter. This was our first town or nine attack of the war, I think. In fact, I think this this was actually the first attack of the war. So we attacked first, and it was Eod, and we got three stars straight off the bat, which was great. It kind of set the mood for the whole war, really, this attack. Because, you know, you start attacking... It, this was the third highest town hall nine and max town or nine and then we go in first attack three stars and that that really did you know it set the tone it gave us a big lift straight from the off and it really helped we had eod with eod and may being on different time zones with may being in the uk and eod being in america it did give us two good co-leader town or nines that were on at different times so our town or nines did get a lot of help in that respect i think in the other clan uh, the town or nine co-leaders or the most the ones that are best at giving advice i think they were both in the states so that meant that there was a large part of the war where there was nobody on to really help out so that's gonna you know that's gonna make a difference with the town or nines gonna make it more difficult I think we had the advantage with there, uh, certainly having people around more during different times. So nice one by Eod, first raid of the war that was. See what else we got? We got Joel on Jade La. Ah, let's watch this, because this is um, J-Dub's regular war base that's tweaked. Now we do have this base, we've had this base since our old days where we used to use anti two star bases as town or nines. I mean that's a long time ago since we did that. But this is J Dub's base is the only anti two star base that we still actually use. Because it defends so many times. Um it's ridiculous really, and it's very often uh, the only base left that's not been three star. But he made some big changes to it for this war. To actually try and uh, strengthen the defending against Go Wee Wee. And it actually got Go Wee Wee. This attack by Joel, we only had two bases left to three star. We had May, Lad, and Joel left. Joel obviously has lower heroes, so we actually sent Joel in to scout J Dub's base to show where the bombs and traps were. And he actually ended up three star in him, so that was quite funny. Double giant bombs he had. His usual base, JW, doesn't have triple giant bombs, and he actually defends hogs quite a lot, considering he doesn't use double giant bombs. Oops. Oh, well. I actually caught the iPad with my hand there, but anyway. So we've got left that we can watch. I tell you what, we'll watch Lad on George, and then we'll watch, finally, we'll watch the attack on Ray which was, I think, our second 
attack on town or nine. So our first two attacks on town or nines, we actually took out uh, two max, two of the three maxed town or nines. When I say maxed, I mean uh, no. Sorry, Ray isn't. Ray doesn't have maxed heroes, so ignore that. He's not maxed. But we took out two of the highest ones anyway, and two of the bases that we we thought were the best ones. So here's Lad on George, a self-designed base that wasn't anti-3, more an anti-2 style thing, but he's got double giant bombs there, so, but Lad with his hogs is a good attack, I think Lad got six stars in this, yeah, he got three on Glorp as well, so, so that was pretty good. So yeah, we're going to watch the last last replay of this war. We are going to watch Ray get three-starred by Beast. So we're going to have to go to the war events for this one. So let's have a look. Yeah, first was ER. That was the first three-star. Yeah, then DOS defended and Wes defended. So the first two attacks on Town or 10s we defended. Uh, where are we? Lad got three on George. Oh, that was early. I thought Beast attacked early, but obviously he didn't. So where is it? Here we go. Arabian Beast on Ray. So here we are. Last replay of the war. Well, then I'll have a look and I'll, I'll give my thoughts on who I thought were war heroes for this one. Obviously, I'm going to have to give War Heroes for both teams. I should really have asked Ray and Matt who, who they wanted to give their War Heroes to, but I can't do that now. It's too late. I'm not going to redo the video to do that. I've been talking for nearly 45 minutes now. So, so I'll give them their War Heroes. Or I guess I, I could have, what I could have done was me pick their war hero and then pick my war hero. Our war hero. That probably would have been fun, but too late now. Well, I know that I know who they would have given war hero to on our side anyway. And it's, it's the same person I'm going to give it to, so. But I'm going to give two. I'm going to give two on each team. And I'm going to give a war hero for attacking. And I'm going to give a war hero for base defense. <clears throat> uh, town or nine and town or ten. There we go. We'll just speed that up. And there's the three star on Ray. So, we can have a quick look at the stats again, as you can see. Pretty good from both teams. Most heroic attack was Rhino. Most heroic defense was Matt, uh, Dossier. Most heroic attack for them was Matt. Most heroic defense, they did not have one. So let's have a look at my team. Our team, should I say. So who we got? R is got to be War Hero on attack for the two three stars. Rhino did pretty good as well. So R and Rhino really the for me the standout attackers at Town Hall Ten. Defensively, what did we do? Broom was attacked twice. I got attacked three times. Doss was attacked four times. So for base design, I'm going to give the Town Hall 10 base design war heroes to myself and Dossier because they both did very well. Let's have a look at Town Hall 9s. Lad and Seb. I'm going to give Lad and Seb the war hero on base designs because Seb had to be finished off by Conrad. And Lad was attacked three times as well. They did very well. 
Joel was taken out in the end by a town or ten, but I do believe that Joel actually forgot to switch his base at the last minute, so he's not getting that. Oh, and the attacks, town or nine attacks, uh, it's got to be Eod, or well, it's got to be May and Eod, I think. Yeah, and May and Eod, no, because May three starred Rafe second time. So, Eod and Lad, actually. So, Eod and Lad are the attacking war heroes there. So, enemy team. Attacks. War heroes for them. I say. Sabe will be one because of that three star. Agarvio did pretty well. Uh, who else? Easy Sniper. Yeah, definitely. Easy Sniper and Sabe for attack. And the town or nine, their town or nines. Uh, did anyone? Yeah, Flesh Eater, he did pretty well. Although he did attack a town all eight and the low town all nine. None of the others got two three stars. Muxi, I guess. So Muxi. J Dub took out Eod. So Muxi and Eod on attack for town or nines. So look at defense then. Um. Ben was attacked four times, but that was mostly looking for percentage. Algarvio's base was attacked three times, but then it got 90 percented, so. Hmm. Blue's base worked well, but I didn't think it was that unique. I think on defense, I'll give the base building awards for them to Easy Rockin' because we attacked him twice. Third one time was a scout. So Easy Rockin' and Algarvio, even though he got 90% at him. No, Ben, because we only got 55% at the most on Ben. So I'm going to say Easy Rockin' and Ben for base design and the Town or Nine base design. I don't know. We sort of took most of them out quite early. Should we say Josh and Glorp, I guess? Yeah, Josh and Glorp for base design. So well done. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. 50 minutes long nearly. But that's the lot, yeah. Some nice bases, some not so nice bases, some nice attacks. And that's it. I will leave you with the dead chat and the cunning stunts warlock. Thank you for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're not asleep yet and you've managed to make it to the end. And hopefully we'll have another one of these soon. Uh, well done to Ray and Matt for running the, the running, running the other team. They did very well. Thanks to Wux and all the other guys in our team for helping out and making it a very fun and very pleasurable win for the cunning stunts thank you very much enjoy your day and i'll see you again soon